Welcome to the first Absolute Beginner's Blender tutorial. The first thing we need to do is to find Blender and install it. Blender is available at um, blender.org. Find the website. And there's the Blender 2.56 beta. Today is January 25th, 2011. That's the latest release at this point. We'll download 256 beta. This tutorial is run on a Windows 7 64-bit system. So we'll download the 2.56a beta installer for 64-bit. And it asks us to click here. I'll save that file. This will take a while, so we'll fast forward through it. When the download is complete, we will open the folder where the executable is. Then run the executable as, as administrator. Agree to the license agreement. Keep all the pre-chosen checkboxes. I will change the location to the program folder on the C drive. There's a Blender Foundation previously created. The next I'll use the application data directory and install. This goes rather quickly. This install is run on a Intel i5-750 running 2.6 gigahertz. We'll now start Blender. You can see the splash screen. I need to resize it to fit within this video format. With Blender, there's a console window. That's a window where information from the program is displayed to the user. Also, if you X out the console window, that will quit the application. So you don't want to do that unnecessarily because it will not save your work. I will now minimize that want to change my user preferences you can go to any of I'll click in that icon and switch to user preferences click input check the emulate 3 button mouse box go back to 3D view press control U save user settings I'll just ok that by clicking the left mouse button. Now I have saved this as the default user setting which means that if I quit Blender either through file quit or up here or through the console and I will demonstrate what happens when you click the console I will first just um, minimize the browser behind us. So now I'll exit out and Blender closes down. Now because we have installed Blender there is a shortcut on the desktop. I will double click that and Blender starts up. 
in the same place, in the same size that we saved the user preferences. Click anywhere and the splash screen will disappear. Here's the console window, we'll minimize that. So if you want to exit, we'll quit there. This is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.